Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my sticker kit lineup for the month of March. And as always, I store my items in this, or my kits, in this Avery binder. I have one for each season and each month is divided by this um, page protector with some EC stuff in it and then some Planner Kate coordinating stickers as well. And then let's get into this first kit. Up first, I have this white dress kit from Pink Planner Shop. This is actually the first kit I've purchased from her, and she is a printable shop. So any, like, miscut or anything that you see or discoloration is on me, not the shop owner. As you can see here, my paper got a little messed up. That was purely my fault, so just keep in mind that this is a printable. And I got this for a friend's wedding. We're going to a wedding. Luckily, it's here in town. Oh, I made this sheet out of some other um, sheets to kind of make it my own and not print out everything. Because as you can see, this kit has so many sheets, and it even had more. I just chose not to print all of them just because I knew I wouldn't be using them. So I just kind of wanted to keep things minimal, even though this massive kit definitely is not on the minimal side. But luckily the wedding's in town, so we don't need to go anywhere for it. And I thought that this gave off very much springtime vibes. So I decided to use that. And then to go with it, I am using silver. So I pulled in some silver wedding stickers from Plana Hannah. So I have the bottom washi as well as a few overlays. Since this kit has a tall box, I'm going to use these heart um, tall box from Scroll Prince Co. I have this wedding like checklist to-do list type thing from SPC as well that I thought would be fun to throw in along with these wedding themed stickers. And then because this isn't enough overlays, I'm going to pull in some of these. And I think like the florals and the leaves kind of work well. And even the lace works well with the wedding theme. So I thought to use those for some overlays if I need to. And then I just have a bunch of other random silver foil items that I plan to use as well since I'm not doing a... Um, a full bundle it's kind of like a miss a leftovers type spread at least on the foil end up next i am using this herbology 101 kit well franken kit because i got these full boxes in a grab bag and so i am making my own here i'll show you my own kit with this because i didn't want those full boxes to go to waste so i have these two um, what are these called? Add-ons? Extra label? Label version 2? Label sampler version 2? Anyway, from Scroll Prince Co. And I thought these, especially this like dark purple, worked like perfectly with the kit. I'm planning to pull in the pinks on a lot of these samplers. And then possibly this like green as well. I don't know, but definitely the pink. And then I have these sticker sheets, which is left over from another kit I made. I think this was another... I can't remember. I just designed this kit myself. I'm pretty sure it was a forest kit. If I can, I'll link the plan with me up above. I'm pretty sure it's up already. Yeah, it definitely is because it was in July. So this is leftovers and I thought all of these colors worked really well because it's like green plants. So... I'm going to try to finish these up. And then for bottom washi, I found this pink. So I'm going to use that. And then because this is not a full kit, I decided to pull in this matte rose sampler or bundle, I should say, from SPC. I have one more bottom washi, which would be perfect to supplement with this bottom washi. I have one set of, or I think a set, hopefully I have a set otherwise yeah okay so then I have some icons and page flag page flags that I can use to supplement from the kit one set of glitter headers that I can use again to supplement with these and then some um date headers because again it's not a full kit so I can use up the rest of this kit or this 
wiggle, I guess is the best way to phrase it and use up what I have. So I thought that would be perfect. And I also have a ton of Rose um, Harry Potter items. So this is also from Scroll of Prince Co. I have no idea if there's a holiday this week. I'll find out. But because this is Rose, I'm going to kind of carry it over to every single week I do Rose and try to use that up if it happens to fall on a holiday. And then I also have a bunch of Harry Potter items in Rose Gold from Planet Hannah. Now her Rose Gold is different than Scroll of Prince Co.'s Rose, but they're close enough. And honestly, I think both tones work really well with the full boxes. And if I have it, I'm going to use it. So I have some underlays, or sorry, washi overlays, some underlays, some quote overlays, as well as some full box overlays. And then if I don't end up using eight of these, I have some corners that I can use to supplement for full boxes as well. And then for the week of St. Patrick's Day, I decided to not go with a full-on St. Patrick's Day theme because one, I don't really celebrate it. Two, I'm not Irish. And three, because I wanted to use up the kits that I had and I didn't have any like specific St. Patrick's Day stuff. So I would have to have bought something and I'm trying to avoid that. So, or at least minimize that this year. So I decided to go with this plant themed Scroll of Prince Co. mystery kit. And I, it has like the greens and like kind of gold ish. So I thought this would be perfect to use as like a non St. Patrick's Day kit. I will be adding some St. Patrick like foil to the spread to make it a little bit more festive, but um, that hasn't come in yet. So I will use that once it comes in. And then so far, what I have is this Plant Mom. Uh, overlay in silver from Planet Hannah that I'm using as well. And then I'm also going to use the succulent underlays. I believe it's called You Suck. Um, or maybe, no, I think that's one of the full boxes. I think, oh wait, no, <laughs> lol, that's where I'm thinking of. Um, I think the underlay is just called succulent or something that I'm going to get in silver to use with this kit as well. And then the silver, like, um, St. Patrick's Day overlays from Scroll of Prince Co. is the only thing I'm going to bring in. And then obviously just some random silver items to complete the spread. Even though I don't think I really need much more. This does have some icons, but I'll just use my normal character stickers and whatnot to um, use for that. And then last but not least, I have this um, Glam Planner Cyber Monday 2020 Mystery, which I've had... For a very long time, I want to get rid of it, so I'm happy that I finally get to use it. As you can see, it is a massive kit because her mysteries are always massive. They include so many add-ons and extras. So, um, actually, this spread I'm actually going to plan to use twice, or this kit I'm going to use twice. So, the first time I make this spread, I'm not going to even use half the kits, or half the kits, half the stickers. So, I'm going to save the other half for a future spread in a future year. So, so I'm glad I'm finally able to use this. And then I'm also going to incorporate the foil that it came with. It came in silver, which is like the third time I'm using silver this month. I did not think that through, but it's fine. So it came with these eight overlays, which for her, I think are pretty simple. I actually do really like them. So I'm excited to use these. This is more what her overlays look like, which I also will use those some deco, and then this washi overlay. And then again, if I need to supplement any icons or anything or scripts, I'll pull in some of my silver items from my sticker collection. And that is everything for my lineup. Just to review, I am using this um, Pink Planner Shop white dress sticker kit for a wedding with silver foil Herbology 101 from Scroll Prints Co., which is a Franken kit with some other items from different shops with rose and rose gold. Uh, November 21 Mystery from Scroll Prints Co. with silver foil. And then finally... Cyber Monday Mystery from 2020 from Glam Planner with silver foil as well. So that is everything for my lineup. If you guys are twinning on anything, please let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.